Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yes, we are. We are. Uh, it's a donut video. Donut. But Good. it's a 15 minute long donut video. Whoosh. I've only just spotted that. That's a, that's a long one for a donut. It's really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Guess we'll get straight into it. Where can people find more donut operator reactions, Mike? Well, if you go to uh, patreon.com and put in Office Blokes React, you can find more uh, donut operator right there, along with a uh, full family guy watch alongs on Saturday nights. And full US office watch longs on Wednesday evenings. Ooh. So, nice. yeah, go down there, check it out. And free donuts. Free donuts. There might not be free donuts, but. <laughs> donuts there ask. for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Right then, suspect shoots police <coughs> while being tased. It's an art. <laughs> Jail for refusing. Oh, Get your hands off of me, Tase him, please. Yeah. 334, shots fired, I'm hit. 334 hit. Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be breaking down a shooting in Tennessee where one officer was killed and another was wounded. And just Whoa. to remind YouTube that this is an educational video by a former police officer who follows YouTube's terms of service. Also, you may notice that I have an ad on this video. That means that $5,000 is going to the wounded officer's family and $5,000 is going to the slain officer's family. Thanks for watching my ads, guys. Our sponsor for this video is Manscaped. It's springtime, which means you should be doing some spring out. cleaning yeah. on your balls. You got that winter bush built up. We'll beat it off, right? Beat it. Shave it off right now using Manscaped products. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is here. Their new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra features the all-new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Electric Trimmer. That's for that big old bushy bush that you grew over the winter time. With the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, they've taken grooming precision to a whole new level with their next-gen dual skin-safe blade heads. You really want your skin to be safe down there, and Manscaped has got you covered. The upgraded trimmer blade features longer, wider, and rounded teeth that cut through hair with ease. It also features a foil blade. Crafted to transcend the boundaries of your typical trim achieved with a trimmer blade. The foil blade is designed to leave you with a finish that's irresistibly sleek and utterly bare. Balls like eggs, boys. Balls like eggs. You can quickly switch out the trimmer blade with the foil blade and go to town. What about your ear and nose hair when you start getting old like me? You start growing hair out of your nose. It sucks. But that's what the Weed Whacker 2.0 is for. It's waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable, and it's built with skin-safe technology also, just like the lawnmower. Don't forget the Crop Soother and the Crop Preserver. The Crop Soother keeps your wobbly bit it's moisturized and the crop preserver ball deodorant keeps them smelling nice and when you purchase the performance package 5.0 you get two free gifts you get some super super comfortable boxers 2.0 and you get the shed 2.0 toiletry bag right now if you go over to manscaped.com and use the code donut you get 20 percent off and free shipping go on over there and get that performance package 5.0 ultra treat your wobbly bits like royalty today using manscaped manscaped.com use the code donut this incident takes place in a little town outside of knoxville tennessee known as maryville february 8 2024 8 p.m deputy shelby eggers notices a car driving erratically crossing onto the opposite lane several times <laughs> correcting but constantly going back to england After witnessing this, Deputy Eggers turns on those cherries and berries and pulls. What do you do if you see someone? I was behind someone last night going home who was, uh, first of all, I was behind them going very slow. And I thought, what's this Bellin doing driving yeah. like this? And then he we went into a dual carriageway and he stayed in the right lane. So I went to undertake him on the left. And as I went to undertake him, he moved over to the left and carried on going dead slow. But then moved, we right over, almost hit the curb, and then turned the corner very slow. And I'm like, the guy's pissed. Yeah. Must be drunk. Yeah. I don't there. know. And then he sort of like turned. He went very slow, but then he turned <clears> off the road down a side street. And I thought he's either suspicious that I might be a cop behind him because it was dark and all you could yeah. probably see is my lights. Yeah, right. Um, but he was driving proper, like, definitely drunk. It's one good thing about my car. If I get up behind people like that, they go, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Cover cops. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know what you do. I was tempted to phone and I thought, you know, do I stay behind him and just sort of like make sure he's safe? You would be tempted, yeah. though, wouldn't you, to mm. call the cops, I think. Yeah. I was definitely a, drunk now. I was on a four lane stretch of motorway the other day and um in lane two there was a car doing fifty miles an hour the whole time, but oblivious. People undertaking and overtaking. Mm. And uh, I drove past and it's a young girl that looked like she was maybe seventeen. Car full of girls the same sort of age, just sat there just waffling on. Yeah. And I was like Gonna get You hit. shouldn't have a car full of people no. for a start at that no. age, which they are talking about changing the laws. Yeah. Right. I'm like that's she's oblivious. Yeah. But because she's so distracted talking to people, she doesn't realise should I be in this lane or yeah. not. Going too slow. People are going past me in both lanes. Mm. And I thought I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just some not shit good. drivers, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just 
pulls over this winner. Due to scumbag stopping in the middle of the road, Deputy Eggers asks him to pull into a nearby driveway. Hello. Sorry, I'm, I'm all right. Can we pull up into this driveway right here? All right, I'll see it there. Hold on just a second, I'll talk to you. Which he didn't figure out. So the deputy asked him again, hey, can you pull off into that driveway? He kind of finally figures it out, pulling off the road next to a driveway. Now, is this just him being kind of defiant? Or could he simply not figure out how to pull into a driveway right in front of him? I don't know, but it's not a good start to this traffic stop. Once off the road in a safe location, Deputy Eggers says to him, hey, I pulled you over because you were crossing in other lanes of traffic. Everyone saw it. And here is the reason that Scumbag gave Deputy Eggers for driving like, a British person. My name's Shelby. I work for the County Sheriff's Office. I'll stop you not because you are all over the road. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't I didn't notice it. I, was okay. putting, I just put my hair up. Putting your hair up? Yeah. Okay. He had to pull his hair up while driving. Sounds pretty reasonable. I know some of you women out there put makeup on while you're driving. I pulled people over for it. Driving with your knees, doing the makeup, looking at the phone at the same time. Yeah, I've seen it. After that, Scumbag decides that rambling on about literal nonsense is probably the best way to get out of this after driving erratically. Uh, thank yeah, I'm you, sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't think I was swerving Yeah, well, you, you went across the line just a little bit, and I thought, well, you know, maybe. I would just put my hair up. I'm sorry, I got hot. I just put my hair up. I got I'm, you. Yeah, you were like, just you were go all home, the way completely in, in the other lane. That's, I that's what I was worried about. I call my mama and say, so. I'm not going to make it tonight. I just, I got to okay. go get close. Like, I'm just dealing with a lot. I, I promise okay. I didn't do nothing. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you're going through some stuff. Oh, it's a lot going on. Yeah. But I literally just got to phone my son, just talked to the guy that's painting. Uh -huh. I, uh Sent me a picture of uh some lights that yeah. he sent me. Okay. That I'm literally just got, I literally just got the phone with him. Okay. Good deal. I got you. I paint mama's house. He just sent me this. I got you. And I called him back, but, but I'm okay. on Bluetooth. Okay. Let me let you in on a little secret. When you think you've fooled the cops with your yapping, this is the conversation that the officer is having about you in their car. Uh, hey, uh, so car smells like weed. It's always weird to see that. Like people think that they can confuse themselves out of a ticket. Yeah, pretty much. The deputy on the other end of that phone call is Deputy Greg McGowan. She's just updating him on the situation and letting him know where she is so that he can come assist. She's like, oh, this is already kind of squirrely. Let's get a little backup on scene. After that phone call, Deputy Eggers goes back to the traffic stop and some other weird things happen right here. He can't find his proof of insurance. That's that's pretty common. But then he calls his grandmother. What didn't come back? The insurance. It's okay. I just, I don't know. I just put my hair up and she said I swear so. <laughs> When Deputy Eggers tells Scumbag, I think he's drunk or high. Sounds like he's on weed, doesn't it? Mm. He can smell it, so I'm guessing that he's mm. just had a few. I, uh, I think there's something else other than smoking so. weed yeah. there. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yeah mm. definitely. Um, I don't know what. I don't think he's drunk, though. Mm. Doesn't seem like a drunk. He seems confused and mm. not slurring you know, words, isn't he? Not compass mentis, but I don't mm. think he's either just stoned Stone, or, yeah. or drunk. Yeah. Right. Maybe okay. he's stoned and drunk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's drunk and Yeah, could be both. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it smells like weed in the car, and I need you to step out. Remember Pen versus Mims. You gotta step out of the car when the nice police officer asks you to step out of the car. Anyways, when she says all that, this is what happens. I am gonna have you step out and hang out with me. Um, step out for what? So, I smell weed in the car. Have you ever I smoked weed, weed in this car? Nobody. I don't smoke or nothing. Okay, you don't smoke or nothing? No. Has anybody, anybody ever smoked in the car? Nobody. This is okay. my mama's car. Okay, that's, that's I got you. Bogus, okay, Man. well, I smell it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you step out and hang out with me. Okay, my partner's going to get here. I'm going to search as long as everything's good. I'll get you home. There ain't no weed in here. Nobody okay. smokes weed. That's... Don't do me like that now. After that, he accuses her of racially profiling, and he also refuses the search of the vehicle. It's, it's me, man. My own black, and they gon' they just being messy. It ain't got nothing like. They ain't got nothing to do with that, brother. I guarantee you, run a dog right here. One of the dogs get on this car. Okay. So I'm gonna sit right here. Our dogs don't. Dog our dogs don't hit uh, hit on weed, and there's not a dog coming out here. It's it's me and my partner. Well, I'm not. I'm I'm re I'm refusing this. No, search. there's there's no there's no refusing. So. When I, smell, so when I smell, so when I smell, when I smell the odor of marijuana, I have probable cause to search the vehicle. I need you to get a so dog, ma'am. I'm refusing to search. There's no refuse. refusal. There's no weed. Go get your partner and tell him to come over and sniff. Okay. My, my partner is not a dog. My partner's a person. Okay, that's let on your the way. partner come sniff. I'm okay. refusing to search. Okay, that's fine. 
You, you can't refuse a search. Why can't I refuse a search? Because I've, I've got probable cause to search the vehicle yeah, no because of the smell. Cause. Now okay. they trying to be messy for no reason. I'm not trying to be messy with you, brother. I'm trying to make this easy. Hmm, I wonder why he doesn't want his car searched. Yeah. It couldn't be that he had something in his car <laughs> that a convicted felon would be sent back to prison for having. A Tennessee criminal history record on scumbag details arrest dates ranging from February 2002 to September 2017. In total, the record states that scumbag was charged with 26 different different counts during that time. Those charges include 13 counts of violation of an order of protection, three counts of aggravated assault, three counts of domestic violence, two of those which were aggravated assault, one that was assault, two counts of unlawful possession of a weapon, coercion of a witness, driving on a suspended license, and two other drug charges. But if you're wondering, it turns out the deputy was absolutely right. However, in September 2022, a Tennessee court ruled that under the automobile exception of the Fourth Amendment's warrant requirement, the smell of marijuana is still probable cause to search a vehicle. Also, you might have heard scumbag pleading with deputy Deputy Eggers to get a dog out there, which is such a crazy level of entitlement. And at the same time, is the dog not going to smell the weed? I'm pretty sure dogs are good at smelling weed, especially when they're trained to smell weed. Now, I got nothing wrong with the wacky tobacco, but if you're driving like an asshole and your car smells like weed, maybe there needs to be further investigation. But after reading a little bit more about this human sewage buffet, you start to understand a pattern to this behavior. Back in 2004, Scumbag was pulled over for window tint and other suspicious behavior. The officer brought in a canine unit and it was alerted to the presence of drugs. Scumbag refused to cooperate with officers, then pulled a gun out and put it to his own head, threatening to kill himself. He eventually surrendered, did some time in prison, but of course was released so he could continue to do things like attacking his girlfriend and trying to strangle her, firearms offenses, and many more. He's already a multiple time felon, and he's got some stuff in the car that he doesn't want them to find. But calling your grandmother isn't really going to get you out of that one. All of this defiant behavior is starting to make a little bit sense, and it continues with him refusing to get out of the car, demanding they get a dog, and more accusations of racism Police, and they just pulled me over for no reason they see my fucking hair put up I, i'm black with dreads and they pulling this mess for no reason it ain't reason. got nothing to do with it that does, brother i can't i, I couldn't see when i pulled you over nobody smokes weed i don't smoke weed okay, i've never been around weed okay that's i didn't say you did i didn't say I that you smoke mom. weed i said it smells like weed in here well, i didn't say you did it. Dog. I love you okay Go ahead and step out for me, Kenny. I'm not stepping out. I'm refusing to search. Okay, you're refusing to step out of the vehicle? I'm refusing to search. Man, okay, so step out of the vehicle. Honor. Step out of the vehicle. Oh, Come back here. Tell you what, as a cop on your own in that situation, it must be terrifying. Yeah. Female yeah. cop with a big yeah. guy as well. Yep. Yeah. It must be extra terrifying. She's, yeah, she's, she's holding, holding her own really though, she? well. Yeah. 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 She's not taking any shit, is she? No. Stand with me. I'm not. 335. I got one refusing to get out of the car. This guy is running a police so many times. I don't know why he would want a dog out there. It's not very fun. <laughs> This goes on until Deputy McGowan arrives on scene at around 8.20 p.m. to assist Deputy Eggers in the search of the vehicle. Okay, so so here's what's going to happen if you don't step out of the car. We're going to have to drag you out of the car, and then you're going to go to jail. So you can either step out of the car, or I can pull you out of the car. step out of the car. No, you will get out of the car. Y'all treat me as racism, man. That racism. I don't care what color you are, dude. She gave you a lawful command. I don't smoke marijuana. She, she asked you. Like she, I, I, she asked you to get out of the car. Get out of the car, bro. Y'all said it smells like weed. I need you to get a dog, please. No, we don't. We don't I'm have to have a dog. To get a dog. When it there like has weed, been brother. no marijuana car. in this okay. car. I want to tell you one more time. Can you get out of the car? I, I can't, ma'am. You I'm can't. I'm recording this. Okay, I'm you can record you right it. now. That's fine. I'm recording too. I've recorded this whole interaction. Go ahead and get but out. But I'm not doing nothing wrong. You were on the wrong side of the road, Ken. I was not on the wrong side you of the road. You were driving on the wrong side of the road, brother. I'm not get out on the wrong car. side of the road. Get out of the car. At this point, Douchebag has made it very clear that he's not going to get out of the car, at which point the officers lawfully can remove him from the car. You know, I'm not. No, you're about to go to jail for refusing. No, you can't do that. You you're about to go. do that. You can't do this, man. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me, Tell man. Please. Please get your hands off of me, go ahead, please. Please. Get out of the car. Get, get your ass out of the car. Get out of the car now. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Out of please. the car. Now. Please, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Get out of the car. Please, can I answer my phone? No. No, get out of the car. Out of the car. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Get out of the car. Why are y'all doing this to me, man? Why are you doing this to me? So that was Deputy Eggers trying to remove. Got some patience, haven't they? Uh, you can't. Oh, yeah. Mm. That sounds have to say it. And... Knowing how this ends, this one's killing me. The suspense is awful mm. on this one. Yeah. yeah.
one of these cops gets killed and the other one gets injured. Really? That's what Donut said at the beginning. Yeah. Well, that's what he said, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That's the whole, the whole thing's building up, so it's mm. awful. <clears throat> what just dick. so annoying. What bell oh, is yeah. it? I ain't doing nothing, ain't You are. You're refusing everything they're asking to do. Yeah, clearly, if there's no marijuana in the car, mar- marijuana in the car, then just get out yeah, of the car. The car yeah. 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 They're not going to find Sorry. anything, are they? So it's making it worse, isn't he, really? Right. Unless yeah. he's building up right. to what he knows what he wants to do. I don't know, but he admitted yeah. that he was swerving in the first interaction, mm. and it's because he was putting his hair up. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not sure he, that's he, what was causing him. No, no, but he knows he's chatting shit. Yeah. And when he's on the yeah. phone, he knows he's talking shit. Mm. It's not like he believes these things, is it? Yeah. Nah. His seatbelt and remove him from the car, at which point he starts fighting her. Because of this, Deputy McGowan pulls out his taser. And you might have guessed it, this happens. Out of the car! Get out of the car! Man. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Taser deployed. Now there's a couple things going on here. Deputy McGowan deployed the taser and it didn't work. And you remember if the taser doesn't work, the taser doesn't work. After that, Deputy McGowan deployed the second set of taser probes. Newer tasers are set up to where they can deploy once and then twice. Pretty neat stuff when they f***ing work. But at the same time, Scumbag shuts his car door. He wasn't successful in deflecting the tasers with the car door, so the deputies used this opportunity to try to remove him from the vehicle a second time. Please don't do this to me, please! 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 You're about to get it again. That attempt was also unsuccessful in removing douchebag from the car, mostly because Deputy Eggers and her attempt to get the seatbelt off of douchebag, she got kind of wound up in the taser wire and gets shocked herself. After Deputy Eggers is shocked, she moves away from the car to try and catch her breath a little bit, so Deputy McGowan moves in closer to try and remove douchebag from the vehicle. That's when this happens. <laughs> Shots fired, I'm hit. 334 is hit. Ah! 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 boy had enough time to grab his pistol and shoot at the deputies five times. He ended up hitting both of the deputies with his fire and then a final shot onto Deputy McGowan while he was on the ground motionless. Dirtbag then yells, I told you motherfuckers. This is while Deputy Eggers is taking cover behind her patrol car to return fire. After he flees the scene, Deputy Eggers notices some bystanders who come over and help her <laughs> apply a tourniquet. Damn good job, bystanders. Help, I've been shot. I've been shot, help. 330. 335, 344's down, I've been hit. Suspect fled. Back towards town on Severe Road. I've been shot, I need your help. Can I do anything? Uh, yes, get out, I need your help. Tell me what you need me to do. I, I gotta get this on and help my partner. Help me, twi- help me twist this, please. <laughs> twist it really tight. Twist it again. <sighs> oh my God. At around 8.30 p.m., other officers arrive on scene. They load Deputy Eggers up to a squad car to rush her to the hospital where she was treated and released. Unfortunately, Deputy McGowan did not make it and later died in a hospital. Dirtbag fled and was on the run for five days before he was arrested. He also got his brother and girlfriend arrested for, uh, I don't know, you know, aiding and abetting a known murderer. That tends to piss the criminal justice system off. He is now awaiting trial in Tennessee where the sheriff has requested the death penalty. Yes, please. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments comments below yep. please if you want to help support the channel you can buy tickets to the uh, so uh, that's that's awesome. died. yeah this is what officers are up against yeah he wasn't paying attention a, at the start when he said it yeah mm. just a lack of routine traffic stop <clears throat> and you, know, you can end up losing your life because of it you know it's just a, it's terrible. such a tragedy isn't it mm. yeah like, a lot of these a lot of these shootings we see happen quite fast yeah and there was a lot of build-up to that one and then we got to see the aftermath as well yeah, yeah. one officer obviously mm. dead awful Proper dicker. Yeah. Death penalty's not enough. It's not, is it? Know. 
It's well, that's a be probably life like 20, 30 years before anything happens anyway, because they're yeah. on death row for donkey's years, yeah. aren't they? But he, look, not, he looked like he had a few bruises on his face on the mug yeah. shot, so yeah. hopefully he's been roughed up a little bit. Mm. But yeah, that's, that's no not more than he deserves, isn't it, really? Or scumbag, like he said. Unbelievable. Yeah, hope you guys wow. enjoyed that. Don't forget like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.